Today's May 8th, Monday, 2017, John, and how's it going? It's okay. Beautiful day. I tell you what, though, it was cold as heck last night. I was up at Wrigley Field. I saw that. <laughs> Yankees, freaking Yankees swept the Cubs. We, we're the world champs, and the Yankees swept us. And you know what? When you look at their lineup, Andrew, you see why. Because, again, both teams have hitters, but... I was looking at the batting averages of the Yankees hitters. Oh, my God. I mean, crazy. And it was a cold night. It was beautiful, but it was cold. And knock on wood, the CME group was nice enough to invite me to their skybox. Went there with my daughter. Had a great time, but it was not a great night for Cubs fans. That's for sure. Well, I know what you're saying about the weather because I'm riding my bike. It's just cold enough to be annoying. Mm-hmm. And it's not warm enough to be like, hey, you know, it's like in between that. You know, is it air conditioned? Were you wearing gloves? I'm having gloves, man. Yeah. It's May, and it's, that's kind of annoying me. That that ticks me off when it's May, May. and yeah. you're wearing a stocking cap and gloves. I know. But, hey, it's only temporary. But over the weekend, mm-hmm. I found the secret to the universe. I found the secret that will make you understand life. Really? Yes. Well, what would that be, Andrew? Well, I was at the after the gym. I was listening to Howard Stern. I got Sirius Satellite. Yep. On my iPhone, and I was listening. I was eating a bowl of acai, and I listened to this uh, clip from Howard Stern. Why don't we cue that up and play that? Let's do it. Take a listen. Yeah, folks. There's a bunch of publications that all said, 100 days in, Howard Stern was 100% right about Donald Trump. And I wasn't saying it like I was some kind of expert. But I know Donald. I don't know him. I'm not an insider. I don't know Donald that well. I had him on the show. He came to my wedding. We, we've hung out a few times. You went to his wedding? I went to his wedding. You know, and I had said to him, and I said this on the air when I was having a conversation with Robin, I had said that, listen, I know Trump's life. I've seen it up close. He's got the kind of life that politicians want. 70-year-old guy who has made so much money, had billions of dollars, that he has his own helicopter, he has his own airplane. He's got his hot wife. He's got fame from the uh, 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 a number one television show. He can walk around Mar-a-Lago, which is like any palace better than the fucking White House. And he can sit and have conversation. He can play golf. If he wants to do a little business, he can fly to another country, take a bit. He has the life that Chuck Schumer and everyone wishes they could have. And Hollywood liked, like, people were always friendly to him. People liked him. You know, he was one of the guys on the scene. He'd, he'd be on David Letterman or this one or that one. He, he didn't have to. He had the life. Now, what happened to Donald Trump was, and I know about this because I was in therapy for it for 50 fucking years and, and thousands of hours and cost a fortune. Like Trump, I can't say no to stuff. I had a terrible, you know, I was a workaholic. When someone would say to me, Howard, we want you for a TV show, or someone would say to me, Howard, we want you to, 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 to do a film, I couldn't say no. I want you to do a book. I want you to do that. I couldn't say no. I was so excited, but also I didn't really think about the impact on my personal life. All I would think about is the big announcement. Howard's doing a film. Howard's doing a TV show. Howard's doing this. Howard's doing that. Okay, so I listened to this, and all of a sudden I thought to myself, Oh, let, well, the sky me, parted. Everything, sky, everything was clear. Yes. You could just see how how the the universe was one. Before I give my thoughts, let me hear your thoughts on it. Well, first of all, I think he's dead on. Uh, I think Howard, who you know is one of the great interviewers, is also just a really insightful dude and a brilliant man. Uh, demons and all. I mean, this is a really brilliant guy. If you're haters out there, okay. Well, what was he talking about? He's talking about haters. He's talking about, hey, Trump lives the life before he's president that any president or any senator would love to live. I know, like Charlie Schumer. I I love that he called him out by name. And this is Howard Stern. And he's saying, hey, Schumer, yeah, he'd love to live like Trump lives, (laughs) flying around in a jet helicopter, going from jet helicopter to his own private 757, flying anywhere he wants, whenever he wants, Going to Mar-a-Lago, which, as you and I know, and he was right about this, is nicer than the White House. You know, there are some Arabian sheiks that have nicer and probably some Russian oligarchs 
that have nicer palaces or whatever somewhere, but it sure as heck ain't the White House. I mean, the White House is an armpit compared to Mar-a-Lago. And I like the thing where you said about the helicopter. Yeah. <laughs> it's like it's not just the helicopter. He flew him to Atlantic City. <laughs> and he says, I like that it's um, quiet, like you can't even hear. Yeah. I mean, if you've been on a helicopter, you got to wear the headphones. And, yeah. Which is cool. Some of them. I'll go that direction. Those, those new Sikorskys, Andrew, with these whisper quiet blades and all the rest, and they're soundproofed inside. I mean, you can have a conversation at this tone in Trump's helicopter. That's amazing. Um, but, yeah, I mean, and even more so, it's not just the jealousy factor, uh, but clearly the senators, the House of Reps are gen- jealous of him. Beautiful family, beautiful wife, rich, can do whatever he wants, whenever he wants. Um, You know, not Bush, not Clinton, not Obama. None of these guys had any of this. I mean, when when you're Obama and you go back to Hyde Park while you're a House rep, and then when you become senator and you're living down in Hyde Park and there's gunshots going off in your neighborhood and everything, and meanwhile, you're Donald Trump, you're living in Trump Tower, you're given to all these Democrat causes because you always have. Yeah, totally a Democrat. Your, your, your family, for the most part, is screaming left wing. <laughs> not, I mean, not even close to the middle. Ivanka and Jared, they were huge supporters of the Dems and the left. But all of a sudden, you run as a Republican, and guess what? Everything about you is bad. You're terrible. You're prejudiced. You're a misogynist. You're everything. He, yeah. was, he was all those things before, but he wasn't. I mean, he did all the same stuff he did before, but nobody said, oh, he's a racist. Show me the racist stuff. They'll say it's because of Muslim, and I'll say, well, that's not a race, and he's trying to protect the country. But well, anyway. Well, we don't go there. Yeah. but Because I found out the secret, not just from this audio of Howard Stern. I found it out from the uh, Hamilton book I read, because mm-hmm. they were pulling this crap in the 1800s. Yeah. I mean, they were just – it was – brutal they were doing this in ancient greece exactly socrates and uh once you once you figure this out you get the secret to the universe and this is the secret that it's all a bunch of bs and ivanka trump's another one this whole this weekend she's like oh she wrote a book she quoted this tony morrison she's she's bad she's this she's that i'm like she's a lib like you she's a new york city uh, uh, good looking anna wintour fashion Lib, Absolutely. just like you, and you, you hate her because she's Donald Trump's. I said, do you do you do you know that you wake up with this hate in your heart and your head's just screwed? So once you understand that it's the man just tricking you, mm-hmm. then you'll be fine. Then you have the secret to the universe. You, you wake up and you don't give a flying. Yep, <clears throat> exactly. Well, now you're right. Um, people sold the image of Trump to us, and it wasn't. It wasn't the right or what some will call the alt-right that sold us the image of Donald Trump, Andrew. It was the left. The left sold the image of Donald Trump as misogynist, racist, you know, homophobic or any of this stuff. Meanwhile, when he was in their camp for the last 70 years, (laughs) he wasn't any of those things. He's got a number one rated TV show, like Howard says. They all love him. They bump into him. They're jealous of him, but the jealousy didn't boil over like yeah. it has when he became president. So anyway, secrets to the universe. Yeah. Now, secret to this election. How'd you like my call on uh, Le Pen winning? Uh, it was a bold call. We <laughs> both acknowledged that. Um, it was not in the cards, but you know what? Uh, it's not like you if you bet on Andrew. So Andrew had... Uh, the possibility that Le Pen could win. And he never said it was 90% chance. No, I said it was 100. <laughs> but, but, but I, I, you know, okay, so there's a poll. There's uh, So what? I, I have hope. hope. So she hope came out change. with 34% and Macron came out with uh, 66. Okay, so France is more or less going to continue. Number one, it'll remain in the euro. She was, you know, just like Trump did with the gold star soldier when the Gold Star Soldier's family, uh, the Muslim family, spoke at the DNC, Andrew. That was self-inflicted wound by Trump to go after them. It was self-inflicted by Le Pen when she said, I'm going to pull us out of the euro, I'm going to pull us out of uh, the eurozone. 
She didn't need to do either of those two. Those two sealed her fate, in my opinion. She could have had that in her heart and gone there, much like the president prior to Trump, President Obama, never told us he was going to do universal health care in this asinine way that he did it. Never told us the Affordable Care Act, I'm going to make this and it's going to be a tax. And if you don't buy, I'm going to make you buy it. It's the only thing. You're talking about Obama. Yeah. It's the only thing I'm going to make you buy. Uh, from the government now we can tax you of course but we're going to make you buy health insurance Um, and we're going to ruin the best health programs in the united states in the world by doing this which they have they've decimated uh, the insurance industry's ability to even take people from certain states already and that'll continue donald trump just looks at it and says i want to fix this this is broken it's going to die he keeps telling them this. They don't want to believe it. Eventually, as uh, Margaret Thatcher said, you run out of other people's money. Mm-hmm. I mean, this thing is going to be a hole in the water you pour money into, Andrew, just like a boat. A hole in the water you pour money into. That's what health care is because they didn't go about it in the right way a decade ago, and we're not going about it in the right way fixing it. All right. So let's, um, let's not do any stocks today. All right, but we will talk about vol just briefly. Okay. Just big picture, folks, volatility. So volatility is still mid-tens, right, Andrew? I mean, you know, we came down all the way uh, to almost single digits last week. And some people, I've got a reading of 10.08 right now, down 4.5% for the VIX. And again, if you add up the movements up and down out of the market, in other words, the total range not close, close, but the total range, it's averaged one point over the past two weeks. So do you know what that means? That means a VIX of seven. So the fact that we're trading with a VIX of 10 means that there's an extra three points of premium, almost 50 some odd percent of extra premium in the VIX right right now. Right now. And so if you're telling me, well, the VIX is way too low. It is way too low, but versus actual, the implied VIX right now is way high. It's 50% too high. It's not reflecting where we are. It's just that there aren't really any sellers at around a 10 VIX. Um, so VOL is going to continue to come down. Uh, if Merkel continues to lead as she's leading in Germany, the leader of Germany, Angela Merkel, um, only really Kim Jong-un or something really, really crazy out of Iran can spike up vol. Other than that, even with crude oil potentially, you know, at, at the lows and not really able to, you know, it's fallen and it can't get up. Uh, I don't think that's a big enough catalyst unless it went into the low 30s. I don't think that's a big enough catalyst to spike vol. So you've got Kim Jong-un, Iran, those are the wild cards. Germany's off the table, I think. Obviously, French election off the table. I think this thing goes below 10 and stays below 10 for a while. All right. Well, let's end it there. All right. Remember, folks, you can subscribe uh, through YouTube or iTunes. We encourage you to do both, in fact. And if you leave us some questions, we'll answer them. This Friday, Andrew, I'll be back here from New York. So you and I will do a QA. and a Oh, the video. Yeah, so we'll answer your questions. Put your name out there in front of several hundred thousand people on Twitter. Because when we answer your questions, we'll put your Twitter handle out with it. How about that? Good. I'm going to bring props. All right. Props. Props.